Hi guys, Ben here, and in this video, I am going to be doing a part three of my Odd Dreams series. So first off, I had this dream that I was at my cousin's house, and but in my dream, it was like not the same house he actually lives in, but he was it was his house in my dream. And we were just there, and then I was looking for the bathroom, and so I walked into this room, and there was like a bunch of these random people like in one of the rooms of their house and I like I opened the door and I saw them and they all looked at me I didn't say this but I was like well surely my aunt and uncle know that there's all these people down here and so I just like walked back out and then later my cousin's dad came down and opened the door and saw all these people and then they all ran away. So apparently they weren't supposed to be there. Another dream I had was me and my aunt were at my grandma's house and um, in my dream, not in real life, but in my dream they had like this alarm clock, but it had like a surveillance thing. It was like if it caught motion then it would like play an alarm or something. And I noticed like every time I would set off the alarm, this guy or like somebody would just show up and then try to kill me and it like scared me really bad and so i told my aunt i was like do not set this alarm off and then later i accidentally set it off again and so me and my aunt both like were scared like ready for this guy to come in the house and so we like both hid and i looked out the window and there was this like person coming pulling in the driveway and this car and i like started panicking and then they came to the door, and then they dropped off an Amazon package and just left. So then I felt stupid because I was scared this guy was gonna walk in and try to kill me, but he was just an Amazon delivery guy. One time I had this dream that I was like at Silver Dollar City, and if you don't know what Silver Dollar City is, then like you should go there, it's pretty fun. But anyway, so I was at Silver Dollar City and there's this ride there called Outlaw Run, and I was like getting ready to go on it, but like outside, like in my dream, not in real life, but outside there was like this building that you would go into to get on the ride, you know, but it was like kept shooting out fire, like for decoration, like it was on purpose. But then the fire for decoration lit the building on fire and it started burning down. And I was like expecting like firefighters or something to come and like fix it, but everyone there just acted like it was normal. And I was like, are y'all crazy? I also had this dream one time that, um, so Owen and Kana and Kyle and Landon we're all in New York, like by ourselves, like no parents, like it was just us in New York. But we were all in New York and it was like storming really bad. And you know how like the Statue of Liberty is like on an island? Well, in my dream, it wasn't on an island, it was just part of New York, like in the city. And so like we were in New York and we passed by the Statue of Liberty. Then she like bent down, like the statue bent down and she started talking to us. And so we were like having this conversation with the Statue of Liberty. And she was telling us how like during a really bad storm, some skyscrapers would like fold down and like slide into a nearby skyscraper for protection or something. And so I like thought that was interesting. And then when we were done talking to the Statue of Liberty, she folded up and like slid into this hotel. And so we decided we were gonna stay in this hotel cause like we didn't have any plans, I guess. And so we stayed in this hotel and it was like super fancy. And for some reason, like to open the door, you would click a button and then like there was like sliding doors that would open to your room. And there was like a little screen on the, like both sides of the door that would say like the number of people inside your room. And I don't know why it was there, but it was. And so me and Kyle noticed that it said like there were seven people, but there was only like four or five of us. And so me and Kyle tried to trick the computer, but we like couldn't trick it. Like 
to make it think that there was actually five of us. And then later on, we noticed that like the screen that usually shows the amount of people in the room wasn't even showing a number at all. Like it just showed like this weird glitchy thing. Like it didn't even look right. So it, I looked down at like, because on the floor of the room, there was like this computer that like was like in control of the whole room and everything. It was weird, but it was like, glitching out, like showing random things. And so I was like, oh, we need to get out of here because they could like lock us in our room or something. And Kana, she started grabbing the like paintings off of the hotel wall to make sure they didn't get lost or something. So she was gonna like return them back to the hotel. And I was like, wait, Kana, stop. We can just unplug the computer. And then we did. And then that was the end of my dream. One time I had this dream that I was like in a rush to go somewhere. Like I don't remember where I was going, but I was in a rush and I was like running through this neighborhood to get to where I was going. And somehow I ended up in like the backyard of this guy's house. And then there was like this car coming down the road and it looked like a super expensive, like really futuristic car. And I saw it coming down the road and I was like, please don't pull in this driveway. And he did. And then he got out and he like was, he threatened to call the cops cause he thought I was like robbing him. But no, I was just trying to get to where I needed to be. And so then I started crying and like begging him to not call the police cause I was scared to death that I was gonna be arrested for nothing. So that was one of the dreams that I had. And then I also had this dream that there was like a bunch of people about my age and we were like all in this classroom or something. And we were like talking to each other. Like we weren't doing anything at school. I don't even know if we were at school, but we were just like sitting on the floor, like talking to each other. And then I became friends with like two of these people. And then I decided I was gonna go outside. So I like went outside and there was like this little building, like, a little ways away. So I went to go look at it and I got over there and like I walked in, like it wasn't locked or anything. And I walked in cause it was like, it was like a business or something. So I walked in and <laughs> then there was like no one there. And so, but there, I, I could see like some stairs. So I went down the stairs thinking that that's where all the people were, but no one was there either. And then I like left the building to go back to the place we were at. And then this van pulled up that probably saw me just walk out of this building. <laughs> and then a bunch of old people got out and went into this building and like started washing their clothes inside this little small building. And I just thought it was kind of funny. Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. It's like 11 days away from now at least. Bye.